Hey everyone, it's Mikey Chen. So the last hundred years has been kind of crazy in terms of technological advancements. I mean, for thousands of years, things were invented and uh, technological progress was made, but nothing like what's been happening now. In a matter of a hundred years, we went from the horse and buggy to landing on the moon to phones that could do just about everything except for put on an apron, go into the kitchen and make you a meal. Although it seems everything is changing and advancing at lightning speed, the newest technologies like like computers and genetic engineering develop much faster than say the automobile or television because they are self-accelerating, meaning the products of their own processes enable them to develop ever more rapidly. For example, new computer chips are immediately put to use developing the next generation of more powerful ones. The same dynamic drives biotech and nanotech. Nowadays, researchers are even exploring the use of DNA for its programmability. So what does the future have in store? for us as we continue down this path, maybe this. We are the Borg. We will add your biological and technological distinctiveness to our own. Your culture will adapt to service us. Resistance is futile. Yuval Noah Harari, a professor at the prestigious Hebrew University of Jerusalem, said the eventual fusion of man and machine will be the biggest evolution in biology. Basically, he thinks that humans will choose to become cyborgs. He said, I think it is likely in the next 200 years or so, Homo sapiens will upgrade themselves into some idea of a divine being either through biological manipulation or genetic engineering, or by the creation of cyborgs, part organic, part non-organic. He argued that humans are driven by dissatisfaction, and just like how we want our phones and video games, we would not be able to resist the temptation to upgrade even ourselves. Harari said, we are programmed to be dissatisfied. Even when humans gain pleasure and achievements, it is not enough. They want more and more. Which, if you think about it, yeah, unfortunately, greed does seem like the biggest motivator for a lot of people. It seems like even if you have a lot of money, you still want to make even more money. It's almost like it's never enough. Anyway, here's another twist about how Harari sees our seemingly dim future. He feels that people will eventually feel like uh, they don't need religion or God and only technology because humans will grow more and more powerful. He also said that not everyone gets to be a cyborg, only the rich, saying that in the future the rich may be able to live forever while the poor would die out. I have a question, is this guy a Borg from the future? Basically coming to tell us that being a Borg is awesome. So then eventually when the Borg actually invades, we'll be happy to surrender ourselves? I mean, I do agree that our technology is advancing at an incredible rate. It feels like every day there's some new gadget or invention that makes our lives uh, easier or basically replaces the need for humans even more. And at this rate, yeah, I feel like humans eventually maybe would become robots. According to Cambridge neuroscientist Dr. Hannah Critchlow, a person could possibly live inside a machine if we had a computer capable of storing the trillions of connections that exist within the human brain. Basically, if the right hardware and software could be designed to accommodate the entirety of the brain's memories, pathways, and functions, then yeah, a person might, in theory, be able to live inside it. So let's think about this. Let's say one day there's some sort of uh, simple operation that you could have that would allow you to uh, jump higher or run faster or become even more intelligent. And let's say some people go through with it just to gain a competitive edge or to fix a disability. Then more and more people would probably do it to level the playing field. And one thing leads to another. Eventually, uh, yeah, we could potentially just become cyborgs. Kind of like that movie Limitless. He basically took a pill and became Came like the smartest person on earth. I mean, think about it. If we all had access to that pill, wouldn't we all take it? I'm not saying I like where all this is going, but aren't we kind of already seeing this happen right now? I mean, for example, Kanye West. He thinks he's God and he's married to a plastic cyborg. On a serious note, this is kind of a scary world we're hitting now. Not saying I agree with everything this professor is saying, but I do feel like we're hitting somewhere that might not be so good. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts about this topic in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.